right there all in you can see that one is more than half a board that gap so what I'll do is trim just a fraction off this I think and I'll just trim just a fraction off this one as well so that, that one and that one are equal I didn't plane in any of this timber so I might put a clamp across here just to close these gaps up a little bit. It's tight at the ends. I'm just going to sand this round a little bit or maybe set up a chamfer cutter in there and just trim the edges. If that gap was less than half a board so imagine that board finished there, what I do is take that one out, measure that distance, I'll show you. So let's imagine I ended up with a gap like that. What I do is take that one out, measure that distance, divide it in two, cut the other one to that half if that makes sense so what you end up with is that board being reduced so that would knock over then you put this one in it'd probably be more like that and then you'd end up with a decent sized board rather than just a little slither on the end but I'm lucky I've got the best part of the board on there and on there I'll clean these up get them glued and pinned like I say, I might put a clamp across here. Right, so that seems okay. So we've got some little tiny gaps. But nothing you'll not really notice. So I put a clamp across it, that closed it up a little bit. I get some glue on it, and I'm going to pin it straight through the face. Because it'll look okay. I just try and make my pin holes consistent. Alright, so there you go. Just two pins on each. And I, I sprung these boards in, because this is going to go up against a radiator. So it is going to shrink, but I can't do any more than that. Alright, so there we go. I'm going to cut the bottom slightly out. I don't think it's sitting quite right. But that is about a pencil width. So, round the back here. make a pencil line there and that's how much I'm gonna sham for the bottom Ooh. I'll take that off and cut it but I think while I've got it here I did square these over but I might bring it up just a just a fraction more and then I'll work out what I'm going to cut. So, something like that I think. This thicker line on the top. I'll take it off, I'll use some some bits of wood to try and even that curves up. You know, just bendy bits of wood.
Right, so that was the bottom. And the rest of the frame is just going to get a round on the corners, you know, quite a generous round. But for this top, top of this back, I want to give it a bit more sort of round, different round. So I've got this cutter in, big cutter, but I'm only using that bottom part. That looks okay. It'll get sanded round a little bit more. That's sitting down there now. Take it to bits, do these. Give it all a good sand. And I've just got to create like a foot. I'm going to put a timber across. But I'm going to cut out, leave the centre cut out with the router probably and I'm going to do the same down the sides I'm going to cut out a little bit so it's creating 4 feet or 6 feet put something on the back as well but I'll cut a little bit out of that out right, and when I take this to bits I'm going to sand all these pieces so I'll be losing all my pencil marks so I've labelled everything pretty much apart from the ends they're obvious and sometimes you don't have to you know label both ends but what happens is when you come to put it together you don't have a mark there and you just don't know you don't know where it's going so marked all that what I need to do is finish off this rebate so I'll just get these bits flush and give it a quick mark because there's going to be tongue and groove going in here again right I can't find a piece of MDF to make a template and I've got to transfer this to the template anyhow somehow if I can I've got some big sheets but I don't want to cut up a piece just for this so what I've done is I've straightened the lines up and I've used some round things and bendy things to get that flowing a bit better and I've got a jigsaw with a, a thick blade in it and providing I don't you know I just let it do its thing I should be able to cut this out fairly neatly give it a sand so there's no flat spots and I'll cut that one using the router to trim this up and then if I have to when I've cut this one I can put it back on top of here, knock it back a millimetre or two and clean up that edge if I need to see how the jigsaw cuts. That's quite good actually. A little bit of breakout on the end grain. I think that'll sand in. It's slightly out of my line there, but jigsaw blade didn't want to go around. I didn't want to force it, so like I said, I just let it do its thing. Give that a good sand and cut that one with router, like I said very minimal sanding on that I've concentrated my sanding in the middle there just removing any lumps and bumps and it's it looks fairly fairly neat 
it'll do anyway. So what I'll do is sit it on there, make sure I get it the right way around. And then I'm going to run my router, and like I said, I concentrate on the centre. So that's where my bearing's going to be running. And I've got a new cutter in here, I think. Could be this one. I'm going to use this cutter. It's a bottom bearing cutter, but it's brand new. Normally I'd use this one. It's still quite a good cutter. You saw it doing the end grain on the on the seats or the bottom rail. And I bought that as a pair to that. So when I'm doing sort of this grain here, the cutter wants to be cut in that way. But as soon as it starts going into uh, round here, that's the only bit where you start going into the grain. And I thought with a jig I can flip it over, swap cutters, and then this cutter will be cutting up with the grain. Anyway, I'm going to use this one, it's brand new. But first of all, I'll cut off the excess with the jigsaw, 10mm or so. You could go 5mm, but if the blade wonders, you're screwed. Right, got a bit close to my line there. Um, biscuits are showing. I did try, but oh well, bugger. Beautiful cut that. Right, beautiful cut that. The bearing and the cut are slightly different. So I think I'm gonna swap them over and redo this one. And then it will step on that one as well, won't it? Right, so that's the one I just did, nice clean cut. And this one's the one that I did with the jigsaw and then sanded. I stepped it forward just a just a millimetre if that. And I'm gonna run it around again to see if I can clean this one up. Alright, nearly there. No clamps, no screws on it here, because it's, it's a bit precarious at the moment. But I just couldn't resist it. I had to stand it in place just to see how it looked. Yeah, I think that's going to do all right. Like I said, I want to get a little rail across the bottom, just to give it a foot in the middle. Uh, so just before I took it to bits, I'm drawing a pencil line down there and one across the bottom. I'll drill some holes, that's going to get screwed up. And I put some pencil marks and I'm going to put some dominoes in, a bit like I did with the biscuit jointer. Work into this line and work into the edge of here. I made a mistake there so I've scribbled them out. There's a domino through there, I don't want to cut through it. So I'm just going to put one in the middle, I'm just going to put two in, one in the middle of there, and one at the bottom, I think that'll be enough. I'm just going to mark the bottom of this, just to remind me to cut that out. I've got these rebates to finish off. And to cut that piece. We're nearly there. 
these are going to get rounded over just a little bit so if I put a pencil mark up there just to remind me how far forward it goes round that over not that much just take the corner off and this cutter that I did on here I might put a little bit on the front of this just on the front not underneath and everything else is going to get rounded over so I might do those when they're in position and then I can just I can just go around mm. which means fixing all that bottom half together routing it out then putting the top on okay so for these dominoes I've just brought my lines through that's where the, the seat sits like that so I just brought them through so that I can clamp on this straight edge if I can do it and I'll transfer them over once I get it on and I can sit me sit my domino into that now the dominoes I've got are half inch 140mm I'm going to cut them down into three so I should get just over well they're 135mm actually I should get just over 40mm so I've set my cutter to go into here 30mm timber 25mm into there and then I should get another 20, 25 into the other, into the back. I've got my pencil marks here. I've got the machine set and the adjustment so that I can slide the back up and down so when I screw it down it should go right down to the seat so I'm going to do this rebate as well before I move this and then I've got a cut out on the bottom and I'm just going to run the router along there cut about about the width of the router cutter itself or wherever it is that dodgy one I'll just take about that much out I think Right, I just cut that wee bit out and I've just gone past, nobody will see it behind here the board's going to be on there, the seat's going to be on there these boards will be on there like I say and I've got my router set up but I want to do this bottom here that's 20mm so I've decided I'm going to come in 20mm then I don't have to alter my fence I just need to alter my depth but I can turn the turn the depth stop there, just turn that away so I can go straight through and I'll measure it 100mm about 100mm Because there's nothing for the fence to run up against.
But I just eyeballed that. And see my pencil line just in. Slight lump there. Be right, nobody will see this bit. Might lose that little lump. That'll do. It's pretty straight. I think that's all I've got to do. Put around all these edges, but I'll do that later. When I'm doing everything. I'll do that one. Alright, so that's the second one. That one turned out alright. I love this. Anyway, all I've got to do now, reset my stops. I can do this rebate in the back here. And then cut the dominoes. Uh, exactly the same again. Microphones on this camera's crap, by the way. I was editing last night and it was, I had to turn the volume up so much, so if I sound muffled, it's not me. Anyway, same again. And I went through here because could have stopped there, chiselled it out, but you might be able to hear it's pissing it down. And my chisels are out in the van. I need another set to go in here. Anyway, that one's done. Let's cut. I can go back in there. 